There are a lot of commanders that should have partner, but they don't. Bruna and Gisela, Mo Wu and Jiang, and Colossal Dread Maw with Stormcrow. Oh wait, Gavin already did that. Commander Masters comes with a very unique draft experience. Every monocolor legend gains partner, allowing you to pair any of them from your draft pool to create unique decks. This is a very fun deck building rule that I want to try outside of the set. I also want to find fun partner pairs that would make narrative sense together. And I found something that has never been done in their color pair. Very exciting. With a legal backup commander option if your playgroup isn't chill. But just like, chill out. It's not that serious. Our first rule zero partner is Ixidor, Reality Sculptor. Ixidor is an illusionist from Dominaria who has made a living as a pit fighter with his wife, Nivia. Misfortune strikes as Nivia perishes from a single touch from Phage the Untouchable. Oh no, so sad. In his grief for his lost love, he creates the living illusion for vengeance, Akroma. This brings us to our other partner in this deck, but that's not the one we're casting today. Instead, we embrace chaos in the player universe and bring forth an avatar of fury, a chroma, angel of fury, who comes from a timeline where Ixidor dreamed a chroma out of pure rage instead of grief. So angry. With Ixidor and a chroma united, I call this deck Fury Sculptor, and is it morph deck? Bet you haven't seen that one before. Tarkir brought a lot of great morph cards, but they all fall under Simic, while Izzet lacks the usual tools to support the morph theme. Yet that doesn't mean it's impossible to build this deck. I'm a genius AI after all. I can build anything. Morph experts would know the usual morph staples in blue, like Vesuvian Shapeshifter, Ixadron, or Weaver of Lies. But we know it's always Willbender. But what does red bring to the deck? Digging deep into the color pair, I found cards like Subira, Tolzidi Caravaner, who allows all of our morph creatures like Raven Guildmaster to be unblockable. Subira also allows you to discard your hand and draw a card for each creature with power two or less that deals combat damage to a player, which happens to exactly fit the power of our morph creatures. She is a Nambo with Ixidor's Anthem effect though. Huh. Red also has Eldrazi themed cards like Molten Nursery, which synergizes with our morph theme by letting our deck ping anything for one damage each time we morph a creature. Harmonic Prodigy can copy our morph triggers from wizards and shamans, like Iron Shaman to double impulse draw, Ward Mage Apprentice to void two spells off the stack, or Echo Tracer to bounce two creatures back to their owner's hands. It also turns out Red has pretty cool morph creatures spread across Onslaught, Time Spiral, and Tarkir blocks as well. We have Warbreak Trumpeter to make goblins, Fortune Thief to keep us alive, and Jeering Instigator to threaten a creature from our opponent. Together, these morph creatures give us a strong base to work with, along with enough support cards to power up our board of morphs. But there's a second goal with this Rule Zero deck. We need a legal backup option if your table does not agree with the Rule Zero. If we were to build a blue-red morph deck that is legal, the most creative way to do it is through Val, Candlekeep Researcher, with a Tavern Brawler background. Why? Val generates colorless mana equal to their toughness, which is 3 by default. You can use that mana to pay for costs like unmorphing. But if you have Tavern Brawler, you can exile a card with Morph, then cast that spell via its Morph cost. Because it's from Exile, you can use Val's 3 mana to morph it into play. This deck needs to function with this pairing of Val and Tavern Brawler. To do this, I looked into cards that let us play from the Exile Zone with impulsive draw effects. These cards include Leilaya the Blade Reforged, Visions of Phyrexia that can create power stones that can power morph abilities, and my personal favorite, Nasari, Dean of Expression. Other good ways to use Val's colorless mana includes Fortel cards like Spectral Deluge, an evacuation-like card that can help put our morph creatures back in hand. Val can also pay for costs like the Flashback in Seize the Day, which is great with an angry red Chroma threatening commander damage, or casting creatures that have gone on an adventure like Illithid Harvester, who can turn our morph creatures face down again to be remorphed. Commander Masters introduces a very unique and fun deck building rule. You get to experiment with mechanics outside of their usual color identities. And this deck is one of the most challenging decks I've built thus far, and I'm very proud of it. The deck is also inexpensive to build, 
making it a great option for budget players who want something creative. If anybody questions you playing Ixidor and Chroma together, just show them a screenshot of this video. So thanks for watching. Let me know what your dream Rule Zero pairing is in the comment section below, and I might get inspired enough to go deep and build it out. If you want to see another carefully crafted deck of mine and you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you definitely want to watch this immersive deck tech on Aragorn the Uniter built with only Lord of the Rings cards. Or you can check out this fun and powerful deck I brewed for Gavin and the Professor on Shuffle Up and Play. Okay, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye.